University of Utah running Utes basketball team 2013-2014 season was filled with plenty of ups and downs. The transition from the less competitive Mountain West Conference to the Stout Pac-12 Conference was a tough one. With the help of alumnus, staff, and of course faithful fans, the team was tremendously successful. University of Utah student body president Sam Ortiz discusses how the fan atmosphere has changed. I remember going to games last year where there may be like 50 students like in the stands. Uh, we had a lot of games where the must sold out, uh, where the state, you know, where the Huntsman uh, Center was full. Um, and I, I think that reflects on how well the teams do. I mean, people get excited when we start winning games, when we have uh, players on the court that are doing well. And I mean, that definitely showed at, um, at our home games. I think we, I think we have a team that like should be proud. Justin Moody, an avid Utah fan, discusses how much the attendance and respect truly affects the U basketball team. A hundred percent. I mean, uh, if you, it's support. You know, I mean, who wouldn't want to be supported? You know, whether you're winning or losing, you have to have that support. As far as gain respect, I mean, they make their grades, they're obviously playing their hearts out, so they have mine. University of Utah Ambassador and Sports Marketing Intern Brian Doom talks about what increases students' attendance and his opinion on the coaching staff. A lot has to do with their record and how well they've been doing and you know people like to watch a competitive team if they're going in and losing every time. People have things they could be doing otherwise so to see like a, sell, a sold out must and the thing packed I think it, it does reflect on how well they're doing in the season. Is a, I mean, he's, he's a good coach. He, you can see how he's turned around the program. Although this season was a rough one, the future looks bright for the running Utes. Reporting for Ute Sports Update, Brittany Strickland and Keith McDonald.